सर्वकार्येषु सर्वदा Om Bhur Bhuvah Swaha Tat 
Salwards here with me, Kiran, Kevin Prasad, and the rest of the boys who will be joining me shortly. This morning, I want to say to each and every one of you, Jai Sitara. And with the blessings and inspiration of God, this morning we come into your beautiful homes. We want to come into your heart in the form of love and devotion. Life is very troubling. Life is very challenging and every moment we are faced with some kind of obstacle and sometimes we don't have the answers. But God inspires us once we are conscious of Him. This morning, devotees all, I want each and every one of you to empty your mind of all thoughts if that's possible. And let's try to focus our attention on the blessings and inspiration of God. Whatever we have, enjoy. And whatever we don't have, do not even think twice. Do not worry about that. Worry about that which you already have. This morning God has blessed us all to sit and pray. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for this wonderful breath that you give us to breathe every day. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our education. Thank you for our jobs. Thank you for giving us everything that we can possibly think of. Enjoy life, devotees. Although we are going through this pandemic and it's very difficult, as the great saints and sages will tell us, even in the darkest moment, there is always light. Focus on that light. That light is the consciousness of God. Hari Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Hari Om. May there be peace in our life. May there be peace in our homes. May there be peace in the world. This morning, on behalf of all the members of the Shanti Bhavan Mandir devotees, I join with each and every one of you in our Sunday morning congregational Havan Yagya. And here is hoping that you will join us this morning as we all sit together, we sing together, we pray together, and we perform our Havan Yagya together. And also, we join together in the beautiful words of our Lord. As we prepare ourselves this morning, firstly, as we do every Sunday at our temple, we prepare ourselves as we embark on our satsang. And the first thing we do is wash our hands. Om Hasta Prakshadanam Samarapayami Shri Govinda Ibyo Namo Namaha And of course you'll take the water in your right palm and when you hear the word Swaha, we'll sip this water. May our thoughts always be pure and divine. Om Amrito Pasranamasi Swaha Om Amrita Pidharnamasi Swaha Om Satyam Yashaha Shri Mahi Shri Shretam Swaha. You wash your hands again. Om Hasta Prakshalanam Samar Payami Shri Govindai Pyo Namo Namaha. 
And of course, now you'll take the what in your left palm and we'll touch the various parts of our body. Today we ask God for good health, prosperity and blessings. Om Bhangami Aseyasu Om Nasurmi Pranu Asu Om Akshurmi Chakshur Asu Om Karnyurmi Shodram Asu Om Vahurmi Varam Asu Om Urvurmi Ojur Asu Your entire body Om Arishani Me Angani Tanus Tanwami Saha Santu Now that we have prepared ourselves, we join together in prayers and prajna to the divine feet of, firstly, Lord Ganeshji. We are always reminded that Ganeshji helps us to remove the difficulties of life and he blesses us with mental and intellectual alertness. And with these powers, O devotees, tell me, what is there that we cannot achieve in our life? Clasp your hands, close your eyes if you choose. But if you have the murities in front of you, look at those murities and speak to them from the inner depths of your heart. Om Gajananam Bhutah Ganadhi Sevitam Kapita Jambhu Phalachade Vakshanam Sutam Shoka Vinashakam Namami Vikaneshwade Pad Pankajam Sarva Mangala Mangalye Shive Sarva Sadhike Sharanye Prayambake Gauri Narayani Namastute Narayani Namastute Let's all sing together the beautiful words of our Lord Sati Yuga Keet Bat Bataye Girija Sut Ki Katha Sunaye Sati Yuga Keet Bat Bataye Girija Sut Ki Katha Sunaye Girija Sut Ki Katha Sunaye Sunai, 
sisters, our mothers, in the form of Durga, in the form of Mahalakshmi, in the form of Ganga, in the form of Saraswati, in the form of Kaitri, in the form of Santoshima. These are the representation of the godly-like qualities that we are missing from our lives. Let's bow to these beautiful ladies. If you have your dear on your altar, you can light your dear and invoke their presence. They are light. Light removes darkness. Asatoma sadhgamaya Tamasoma jyotirgamaya Mrityorma Amritam gamaya Lakshmi karo tu kalyanam Arogyam sukh samprada Mam shatru vinasha Deep jyotir namostate Saraswati Namastubhyam Varde Kamarupani Vidya Arambham Kadishyami Siddhir Bhavatu Me Sada Jayanti Mangala Namastasya 
Blessings, devotees. This is called Shravan Mas, beautiful period that is put aside for the glorification, the adoration of that divine quality within each and every one of us, which we are missing in our lives. And that quality is inner peace. We may have all the money in the world, we may have all the homes in the world, all the nicest of cars in the world. But if you cannot go to bed in the night and sleep in peace, then we have nothing. Inner peace is the most important thing that we all need. And Lord Shiva is such a divine Lord. Let's pray to him so that we can always enjoy such peace. Shiva Oh, uh -huh. 
of that inner peace which we need in life. He Tripurari He Ganga Dhani Bhole Shankar Bhasmarama Bhakt Sahai Hai Kailash Kivasi Dikha Do Chabir Dhanashi He Devi Bhakt Vilashi Akhiyan Dhan Shanti Kiasi He Tripurari He Ganga Dhani Bhole पुष्प चढ़ा के भजन है गाके 
personalities of our Lord, incarnation of love, incarnation of courage, beautiful forms, Bhagavan Krishna Kanhaya and Prabhu Shri Ramachandra. Today I invite all of you devotees in your own little way, pray to them. When we think of Krishna, we think of friendship, we think of love, being happy. When you think of Ram, you think of always having a beautiful personality, a beautiful smile on your face. No matter what you're faced with, he smiles and he's always calm and collected. Krishnaya Vasudevaya Haraya Mani Pranat Krishna Shaya Govinda Namo Namaha Krishna Yavasudeva Devaki Nandana. Nanda Gopa Kumaraya Shri Govindaya Namo Namah Vasudeva Sutam Devam Kams Chanur Mardanam Devaki Padmanandam Krishnam Vande 
जगत गुरु लोकाभिरामम रनरंगधीरम राजीवने प्रम रघुवंशनाथम कारुण्यरूपम करुणा चंद्रम शरणम प्रपद्ये हरिवन रामाय राम यथाय राम चंद्राय वेदसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय Krishna, when you think of Krishna, you think of Ram. There are two dual personalities. They're inseparable. And they remind us that in our darkest moments, whenever we need, all we have to do is invoke your presence and call on them. Krishna Kripal. That Lord who comes as compassion, as mercy, removes all the distress helps us in every possibility. Hey Krishna. Dina Dayal Gopal Mahaprabhu Dina Dayal Gopal Grant us such mercy, O Lord, for we need you now more than ever. Let's all sing together. Krishna Kripalu, Krishna Kripalu, Kripalu Nidhi, Keshav Dina Bandhu Haya. Krishna Kripalu, Krishna Kripalu, Kripalu Nidhi, Keshav Dina Bandhu Haya. Yeah. 
This beautiful Lord representing nature. You know, nature is such a beautiful thing, isn't it? You can learn so much from nature. And if we take time out more and pay attention to Mother Nature, devotees are, I'm sure you would agree with me that life would become more meaningful. Imagine this morning at 7 o'clock, I am at Dorman Road in Queens, um, the home, the residence of Rakesh Ji and Savitri Bauch, Sitaram. And I'm there this morning and I went to pick flowers from the yard. Look at this. Beautiful flowers from the yard. Who produces this? Mother Nature. The sun, the rain, the calmness of the earth, the, the, the help, the aid that we give these plants, all of this representing nature. And look how beautiful nature is. So take time off again and again and spend more time and look at nature. And as I was there, I saw, you may say cucumber, I know it as cucumber. I saw a cucumber plant and I went and I picked myself. And I looked at this thing coming in the car this morning and I said, look what nature does for us. And what do we do with it? We enjoy it. And those of you who like cucumber, try it with salt and pepper and tell me the difference of nature. We can learn so much. Nature is so beautiful. Spend time more outside. Hey, nile gagar ke tale. I see he jag me at the so he. I see he shall Nature produces for us the beautiful sun, the beautiful skies, the beautiful clouds, the beautiful rain that comes from these clouds, this beautiful earth that is laden with grass and plants and nature in its beauty. Oh man, do not take this world or nature for granted. Yes, Surya Narayan, thank you for allowing us to wake up today to live and enjoy nature. Heart Jod. We clasp our hands today, O Lord. Viniti Karu. And we bow to you, O Lord, again and again. Surya Deva Bhagavan. O Surya, thank you for life. Thank you for what we enjoy. Das apno jani prabhu Today we are your servants You have created us And today we bow to you and we thank you again and again Karahu sada kalyan Give us your mercy Give us the kalyan, your prosperity For what life has to offer, O oh Lord Surya Deva Bhagavan Oh Surya 
in our land. We bow to you again and again. He dharti devi He gagan mata He gange mata Kar hu sada Allow us to enjoy more, more beauty of Mother Nature. Aaj andhiri me hai ham in hasan. We have become so ignorant that we have lost that which is important, O oh Lord. Gyan kasuraj chamka. May the knowledge in the form of the rays of the sun remove such darkness of ignorance from our lives. Cleanse our eyes so that we can see that which is real. Ah, ah, Enjoy nature, because nature is life itself. Hari Om Shanti, Shanti Shanti, Hari Om. Open your windows, open the shades, look at Surya Narayan Swami, look outside, and simply bow and say thank you for what you do for us, O nature. Hari Om Shanti, Prem Zolo Surya Narayan Swami, Bhagavan Ki Jai At this time devotees, all of us will join now in our Havan Yagya and of course these beautiful mantras remind us of the importance of life reminds us of the importance of energy 
the very energy which we need. And when you think of Agni and Hawan, all the five elements which makes up this body, this being, is involved in Hawan. So when we do Hawan, we remind ourselves how fortunate, how blessed, truly, we all are. This morning, devotees, I hope you have your Hawan Kund in front of you. If not, simply just close your eyes and join us in our prayers this morning. First of all, as we do every Sunday, we'll invoke the presence of Agni. May such a divine energy be present always in our lives. Om Bhura Bhavasva Om Bhura Bhavasva Jyauri Vahumra Pritavi Vahavarimna Tasya Ste Pritavi Deva Yajni Prishti Agni Maradam Maradayada Deshti Agni Devaya Poojanam We find the fine note together. Om Mudbudhya Swahagani Pratijagrihi Tvamishra Purti Samsi Jethamayamscha Asmin Sarhaste Adyur Tarashmin Vishwadeva Yajamanascha Siddhata when the word Swaha is recited, this is when we make our offerings, and of course, we'll offer the first piece of the when Swaha is recited. Om Mayantai de Mayata Majata Veda Stene Dhasva Vardhasva Cheda Vardhaya Chasman Prajaya Prashuri Brahma Varchase Anna Dena Samedhaya Swaha Idam Magne Jata Veda Se Idam Namama Second piece of Dhoop. Om Samidhagnim Dovasyata Griti Bodhaya Tatitim Asmin Havya Johotana Swaha Idam Magnay Jat Vedase Idam Namama Offer a drop of ghee Om Samidhagnim Dovasyata Griti Tivyam Johotana Agnay Jat Vedase Swaha Idam Magnay Jat Vedase Idam Namama Final piece of two. Om Tantva Samira Vyangiro Kritina Varaya Masi Brihashto Chaya Vishtaya Swaha Yam Magnae Angira Se Nidam Nama We will offer ghee for five times. Om Ayanta Vidmayata Majata Veda Se Nidhaswa Varghaswa Cheda Varghaya Chasman Prajaya Prashurvi Brahma Varcha Se Anna Dena Samidhaya Swaha Idam Magnaye Jat Veda Se Idam Nama Om Ayanta Yudhmayata Jat Veda Se Nidha Swaha Satche Havaya Chasman Prajaya Prashurvi Brahma Varcha Se Anna Dena Samidhaya Swaha Idam Magne Jat Veda Se Idam Nama Om Ayanta Idmayatam Jat Veda Se Ne Jasva Varghasva Chela Varghaya Chasman Prajaya Prashurvi Brahma Varcha Se Anna De Nasa Medhaya Swaha Idam Magne Jat Veda Se Idam Nama Om Ayanta Idmayatam Jat Veda Se Ne Jasva Varghasva Chela Varghaya Chasman Prajaya Prashurvi Brahma Varcha Se Anna De Nasa Medhaya Swaha Idam Magne Jat Veda Se Idam Nama Om Mayanta Idmayatma Jat Veda Stene Dhyasva Varghasva Cheda Varghaya Chasman Prajaya Prashurvi Brahma Varcha Se Anna De Nasa Medhaya Swaha Idam Magne Jat Veda now we take the water eastern direction, western direction, northern, and then the southern direction. Om Madhite Anumanyasva, Om Madhumate Anumanyasva, Om Sarasatye Anumanyasva, 
another opportunity to correct the mistakes of yesterday and create a beautiful day for a brighter tomorrow. You know, many times in life, we wonder what will today hold, what will today bring. First of all, let's be thankful when we are able to open our eyes in the morning. When we are able to look to your left, to your right, and see your family members, your loved ones. Or even if you're alone, look within yourself and realize that God has given you a lot in your own life. You're able to move off from the comforts of our home, our beds, I'm sorry, and move around the house and whatever else we do on a daily basis. And when we look at these things, these simple, simple acts, sometimes it, you know, we take it for granted. But it reminds us so much how blessed we are. For there are so many who went to bed last night, did not get the opportunity to rise. Or there are so many who wish they are able to move from their beds or open their eyes, but they are not so fortunate or blessed. Hence, why are we taking life for granted, oh man? I want to share this with you this morning, coming compliments of my father. And this is what he wants to share with our listeners today. Hate is too great a burden to bear. It injures the hater more than it affects the hated. In this spirit of anxiety, and uncertainty. We have the opportunity, time, and the reason to unwind our thoughts and feelings. Weigh the difference between love and hate, then make the appropriate choice, which is of course love. Love is the pathway to happiness, a good relationship with all and the fulfillment of life's purpose. Love to all, especially our beautiful grands. Love, Aji and Aja, Nani and Nana. And of course, he ends by saying, Jai Ho. We waste too much energy worrying about the negative things of life. We waste our life hating and hating and hating. And what happens in reality, that we have forgotten what love is all about. Devotees all, enjoy what God has to offer. Today, look to the person to your left and say, I love you. Even though you may not see eye to eye, look to the person to your right and say, I love you. Look to the person in front of you, which is Kevin G, and say, I love you. And look to the person behind you and say, my friend, I haven't forgotten you. I love you too. Every day if you can wake up in such a positive way, imagine what life would be like. This morning, devotees all, I want to say once again, on behalf of all of us at the Shanti Bhavan Mandir, I want to say Jai Sitaram. I bow to each and every one of you 
and I thank you for logging on this morning. Adit Mohanji from Diana, he made sure he texted me this morning WhatsApp to say hi to him. So I say hi to Mohanji. Jai Ho Mohanji. And to all of you devotees this morning, we hope and pray that you will celebrate this beautiful day with us in Satsang. Anyone know what today is? Today is called Tulsi Jayanti. A beautiful day dedicated to the glories and worship of this wonderful soul, Goswami Tulsi Dasji. And you know, when we think of life, you know there's an old saying, when it rains, it pours. You know, some of us, we live life like this. And this is what has become a reality of our life. And it goes to the same, when it rains, it pours. When you look around, our families are sick, we're losing our loved ones, this pandemic is just becoming worse, there's seclusion, we, are ha we have to be locked up in our homes, social distancing, away from our temples, from our friends and families and so forth. And when you think about this, all of these adds up to being burdens. Sometimes it becomes overbearing. But how do we cope? How do we manage? Devotees are all we have to do is to just continue to love ourselves, to love those, even though you may not be able to see them or even hug them. It's just love and love and love and love life even more. Because we learn so much from situations like this. Now when you think you have it bad, or if I say myself, I have so many problems in my life, I think I am the, the one person who may have all the problems in the world. Think twice. Think twice. This morning I want to share a few thoughts about Goswami Tulsi Dashi's life. Some of the obstacles some of the issues that he faced in his life. And today, on such a day, being Tulsi Jayanti, this great soul, this soul, who was once Valmiki, and he came back into the age of Kalyuk, the Mutizor, and he became that Tulsi which we love and adore. As a matter of fact, Preta me bhai Valmiki Munis Tokal Yog bhai Tulsi Sarasa Preta me bhai Valmiki Munis Tokal Yog bhai Tulsi Sarasa In the age of Treta, when Valmiki Ji was residing, 
And when Valmiki ji walked this earth, my dear devotees and friends, to Kalyug bhai Tulsi Das in the age of Kalyug, it is that very Valmiki ji who reincarnated as Goswami Tulsi Das ji. And on such a day is a day when we reflect and we wonder why did this soul, why did this great soul come back now as Tulsi Das ji? You know, in Sanatana Dharma, we believe in reincarnation. We believe in coming back as another form, as another soul in another body. This is part of our culture, our beliefs. And Tulsi Das ji is reminding us today, our great saints and sages are reminding us when these wonderful souls do come back, for whatever reasons, we must bow to them and say thank you for reassuring me that you are still alive and well. This is why we say in Sanatana Dharma, we never die. We never die. We're always traversing this world. We're coming and going, we're coming and going, coming and going. And we're always, and we will always be alive. And such a person, Goswami Tulsidashi, this great poet says, that Valmiki came back as Tulsidasji in the age of Kalyu. Why did he come back? We will look at that in tonight's Katha. Today's Katha rather. But I want to share with you. When Goswami Tulsidasji from the inception of birth, look what he was faced with. And we question ourselves and we ask ourselves like when we are faced with certain ups and downs, certain adversities of life, what do we do? Quickly we give up. But Goswami Tulsidas Ji did not. Firstly, Janma ke saman balak Tulsidas rohi nahi hai. In these beautiful words we are told that when he was born, he didn't cry. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, when a child is born into the world, you know what the doctor does? You remember? <laughs> the doctor does this to you. I think I'm correct, right? Mothers, the doctor does this to you, to the baby. And why does the doctor do that? So you can cry, so you can make sure that this baby is yet alive. But when Tulsi Rashi was born, we're told that he did not cry. And this very cry is the cry that a mother looks forward to because she knows that yes, my child has come into the world and my child is alive. Unki mukse ram kaha shabd nikalta. You know what he says? Rather than crying, Tulsi Das Ji uttered the name Ram. Hmm? Now I ask you the question, why did he come back? That is one of the reasons why Swami Tulsi Das Ji came back. He was connected to Ram somehow or the other. Unke so Tulsidas she says in his story, writing his story, when he was born, he had all his teeth. All his teeth, his mouth was filled with all his teeth. Now many of us may question and say, is this possible? When you look at the world today, people are born with three arms. People are born with four arms. Huh? People are born joined together. The miracles of life, devotees, the miracle of the world, the miracles of God, man should not question that too much. Is this possible? Anything is possible in life. Anything. But you know what? I want to let you know that we're told in the life history of Goswami Tulsi Dashi, when these things started to occur, people regarded him as being cursed. They say when you're born with teeth in the mouth, you're a cursed child. You're the devil. You're Rakshas. Hmm? His mom and dad, Atma Ram Dubey and Holasima, abandoned him from an early age. Now this is a young tender baby who was abandoned because he was cursed. They were advised, his mother and father were, whatever, were advised, Leave this child, this child will bring you great pain and misery. His mom, Hulsi, died at an early age. Now this is just a little history, insight in the life of Goswami Tulsi Das Ji. 
And look at the obstacles from birth, you know. From birth, he started to face these adversities. So when his mom died at an early age, remember his father had already gone. And he grew up with the maid, the servant of the home, by the name of Chunya. If we have heard these names before, today we should bow to all of these great souls. You know why? Because regardless of who they were or what they did, they still brought forth into the world a great soul who we should love. Who we should love and admire. So he grew up in Chunya. Now at the age of seven, Chunya dies, his maid, his servant. Now he is abandoned by everybody. He has no one. So Goswami Tulsidas started to wander the streets. And as he was wandering in the streets, he was laughed at, he was chased, he was harassed, he was cursed at, and he was even physically, mentally abused. Imagine, at that age, look what you were facing. So he wanders off, he continues to wander in the world. Until one day we were told that he went into the forest. And when he was in the forest, he saw a statue. And this statue was the form of Sri Ram. It was the form of Ram. Remember the first word he uttered? Ram. Sometimes we have to go through the adversities of life before we can see the light. Ram. We have to. It's all part of life. Don't give up. So he held on very dearly to the statue and many people chased him for the statue because they say, why such a cursed child? You do not belong with such a Lord, with the Ram, Prabhu. You should not have such a statue in your life. You should not have any association with such a statue in your life. And you chased him, but he held on to the statue. God knows what he's doing. And we're told, as he kept running and running and running, one day he ran into the arms of his Guru Dev. Who is the Guru? Nar Haridas. And he ran into the arms of the Guru. And from that moment on, that great soul became his Guru, became his guide, my dear sisters and brothers. So from birth, he went through a lot in life. He faced everything that you could possibly think of. But he realized there was more to his life. And that Guru taught him every single thing he wanted to know about Prabhu Sri Ram and life itself. And of course, you know, Tulsi grew up now, as we all do one day. And what happened? He fell in love with a lady and he wanted to get married. And he started to stray away from Ram now. And he started to dedicate his life to this lady. And of course, those of you who know her name, she was Ratnavali Devi. Ratnavali. And he fell so much madly in love with this woman, devotees, until one day came when this wonderful woman, this lady, would change his life forever. In these beautiful words today, Goswami Tulsidasji, the great saints and sages of our ancient times, takes us now to the words of Ratnavan. Now imagine he was madly in love with her. And one day, he decided to travel and to go and meet with her at her parents' home. She was residing here. And of course, we know what the veranda is. Tuls, Ratna Devi, saw this man coming through the storms, through the waters, through the bushes, climbing up this, this, these trees and everything to see her. She comes out on the balcony, on the landing, on the veranda. She looks and this is what she says to Tulsi. Shri Ram, Shri Ram. 
Sometimes we, we may say we run off. And sometimes we, 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 we confuse the two words, love and lust. Love, L-O-V-E, and lust, L-U-S-T. These two. He went through the storms. Storms, detrimental storms. This man started to overcome this. He swam through rivers. Going through the jungle, the bushes, and he was climbing up this tree, this um, vine, and he reached on top of the veranda, on top of the porch, the deck, the terrace, whatever you want to call it. And there he sees his beloved, Ratnavali. And she says, My love, he says, My love, I have come for you. This is what is it love 
or is this lust? It could be love. He loved her. Imagine, look what he went through for her. But she looked at it as lust. She says, O oh, Tulsi, Lajna avat apko Dore aya ho saath Sikh sikh aisi prem ko Kaha kaha Nainat She says, my love, my lord, you have traveled you have traversed the oceans, you have traversed the storms, and you are climbing up this vine. You did not even realize that was a snake or tulsi. And today you have come to see me. Sikh Sikh Aisi Premako Kaha Kaha Umaynat. She says, What has happened to you? What has happened to your integrity? Today I feel as though you have disgraced yourself, and now you are disgracing me. By going through all of this just for me? Oh, Tulsi, what has happened to you, my lord? Asti charma dehamam or tame aisi preet. What do you really love? Aisi charma dehamam. This being that you see before you is made up of flesh and bones. This is what you love, oh, Tulsi. Imagine the turning point in someone's life. Sometimes you need somebody to be there, to guide you, to utter these words in your ears and to remind you who truly you are. She looks. Jaise wo Shri Ram mein Hote tan to bhi bhi tasiya Pati Dham Chandra ki jai Sharanam Prabhu she says, O oh, Tulsi, if you can show your Ram, that Murti that you held on to, that Lord that you love so much, if you can show him such love that you are showing me today, O oh, Tulsi, imagine what your life can become. And those words pierced through the ears of Tulsi. He looked at Ratnavali, he bowed to her. You know, we always say, many people will tell you, you shouldn't bow to your wife. Many of the elderly people will say that you shouldn't bow to your wife. Well, if your husband is Shankar, who is your wife? Isn't that Parvati Mata? Why not bow to such blessings and such energy? Tulsida, she fell to the floor and he bowed to Ratnavali and he says, Ma, thank you. Thank you for reminding me today where my heart truly belongs. And I realized that I lusted for you so much and I love, I lost my love for my Ram. So he's saying to her now, I lust for you. And I realized today that I lost my love for my Ram. And to see Devi, Tulsi Dasji realized what Ratnavali was saying. He turned around from that balcony. He went down back and he took off and he went. And what did he start to do? Tulsi Dasji started to document now the beautiful words of the Ram Charit Pramanas. Now, what was the intent behind this? Did he want to show up Balmi? Did he want to say that, oh Valmiki, you don't know what you wrote there. Let me show you how it should be done. No, my dear brothers and sisters. Because Swami Tulsi Dashi. What was the intent? What was the reasoning behind it? If you want to learn about life, go through all the adversities of life. Look at Tulsidas Ji's humility, what he teaches the world. Karanachau <laughs> Ra 
रघुपति गुण गा लघु में मति मोर चरित अवगा सूजनए को अंग मन मति रंग मनो रथ करण चाऊ रघुपति गुण गा He says, you know, my intelligence is weak. I may be very low in intelligence, but my love for my Lord surpasses all. He's saying here that his intelligence level is low, but my love for my Lord, Sri Ram, will allow me, will guide me, will bless me, so that I can write the beautiful story of my Lord, Sri Ramachandra. And what was his sole intent? Simply to simplify the Ramcharitramanas from being Ramayana. And all of us know that Ramayana is written by Valmikiji. In one of the most difficult 
language is to understand and comprehend, which is Sanskrit. And in those days, it was very difficult to open the Ramayana and to read it because the language, the philosophy was so high. And Goswami Tulsidas, she coming back in the age of Kalyu, being reincarnated, coming back with inspiration from God, being inspired by his wife, by his guru, Naraharidas. He says, you know what? Why can't we simplify this book, this very book, so that everyone also can be able to read of the beauty of Ram. Not only certain people must be able to read it, but everyone must open it and look at it and look at the stories and the glories of Sri Ramachandra. And what was his intent? Just simply to rewrite it in the Avadhi language. And of course the Bhashara, which is of course simply means Hindi. And he translated it from Sanskrit to Hindi. And everyone was able to open this book now and to read and to comprehend it, my dear sisters and brothers. And you know what? Many other great souls came and rewrote the Ramayana also. There's so many Ramayans we have, no? And each of them carries their own philosophy. And when we put it all together, we see it only talks about one thing, the importance of God and the importance of the qualities which God represents within man. And when we study Ramayana devotees, when we study Ramcharitramanas, we will see that these very qualities are inscribed in this beautiful book. To Siddhasji, today we bow to such a great soul. Thank you for coming back and rewriting this beautiful book for us to understand. Hey Dhanya Sohagan Vojisane Bharat Ko Tulsidasaviya Today we thank, we bow to Ratnavali, his beautiful wife. And we should thank her for, it is because of her blessing, she was a dharmic wife. She realized that there was much more to Tulsi's life. And she says, go my friend, go Tulsi, go and do, surrender yourself to God. Hey Dhanya Sohagana, wo jisne Bharat ko, in Bharat desh, ko Tulsi das ya. Such a great soul Tulsi das ji, lived on such an earth, on such a land, in such a place, and he brought forth the beauty of Ram Charitramanas. Sancho man tulsi na hote, or to Hindi, or kahi paddi ho hote. It was because of Tulsi Das Ji, he brought light to the Hindi language. The Hindi language was being lost those times. And he brought light to it. Hmm? Uske maathi par Ramayan ki aur bindi nahi jaddi hoti hai. We are told that he brought Ramayan in the form of Ram Charitramanas. Like when you place tilak on the forehead. When you place the tilak, you can note it from a while, a distance away. It's very noticeable. And he brought the importance of Ramayan so that this beautiful book can be noticeable by every single soul who opens it. They can read it, they can comprehend it, they can understand it, and they can translate it in one's life. Vi so basant de kar jisne badle me baas chumas liya He dhanya sohagan wo jisne bharat ko tule siddhas diya Thank you, O Ratna Devi, for such a beautiful gift. Jaahu kabhi jab tak Ram Amar aur dunia mein tera naam Amar Beautifully he says that Tulsi Dashi when he started to write the Ramayana hmm? he started to write the Ramayana he realized that the Ramayana is going to be revered by everyone but what he didn't realize that he was also going to be respected and revered in the same process Dunia mein tera naam Amar Although Ramayana and Ram will be worshipped, you also, Tulsi, will be glorified in this world. Dunya mi pujengi raghuvar ko gunjega aur tera saal ghar ghar hai. We are told that Ram will be worshipped in every home and your name will be sung in the world. 
जीवन तो दिया हरि को हमको हरि लीला इतिहास दिया यू गिव योर लाइफ और तुलसी to writing of the glories of ram hum ko hari leela ka itihas diya but what did he do in the process of doing so giving his life to ram he brought ram to life is that right he gave his life to ram but he brought ram to life and today we are thankful forever gracious for such a beautiful lord goswami tulsidas ji in recapping from birth his worries started he was ridiculed he was laughed at he was abandoned and he traversed this earth in search of reality and truth his parents died his mother the person who raised him chunia his the maid she died then he finally found his wonderful gurudev narhari das he fell in love with ratnawali he fell in love or in lust whichever one you want to look at i feel that he did truly love her but she loved him more to realize that his life is worth more and he should go and find his lord she gave him her blessings to see that she bowed to her and he took off in search of his lord hence today we enjoy the beautiful scripture shri ram charit ramanas to such a beautiful lord goes for me to see that she we want to thank you again and again for bringing forth this beautiful lord shri ram this beautiful book into the lives into the heart of each and every one of us today i want to wish each and every one of you devotees a happy 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 tulsi jayanti and i want to pray wherever that soul is even if that soul came back may that soul always always be respected and revered every moment mohe raghuvar ki sundhiya o ghar se ban nikle dono bhai pati tulsi das He brought forth this beautiful story of Ram, and he told us that how we come into this world and we live in this world, we live in our homes. One day will come when we will have to leave our homes and go. Where we will go, none of us knows. God is saying, "Kali dono bhai." Today, these two brothers, he's talking about these two brothers, Ram and Lakshman. These two brothers represent the body and soul. Today, these two are leaving Ayodhya. They're leaving this world. They're leaving this home. Where they are going, no one knows. Will they ever come back? Such a beautiful Lord, such a beautiful story that our dear Tulsi Das Ji left for each and every one of us. You tell me today, shouldn't we respect? Shouldn't we revere? Shouldn't we glorify and worship such a beautiful Lord? I think we should. The devotees are. Thank you all for being with us this morning, and thank you for celebrating with us. Tulsi Das Jayanti. I want to end with this beautiful song, a beautiful song that says, and this is what Tulsi Das Ji believed in. So long as he has his Lord in his heart, in his mind, no matter what he is, he was faced with. or whatever obstacles will come in his path he knows that everything is going to be okay and this is a message for you and i devotees yes we go through difficulties we have every moment there is something going on in our lives sometimes we lose control 
Sometimes we want to give up. Sometimes we want to give up our lives. Hold on to faith and hope in the light of Ram. Like Tulsi, he did not give up at all. Ramachandra, 
to the beautiful and most adoring feet of Goswami Tulsidas Ji. Today, you and I, each and every one of us together, we bow again and again. Thank you all devotees for logging in this morning. Thank you for lending us your ears, your time. And we do hope and pray that whatever difficulties you're also going through in your lives, always know that tomorrow is another day. Continue to be strong, courageous. Continue to have faith and hope. And do not give up in any possible way. Continue to always have hope. Continue to have faith in God and yourself. And love the world. Love nature. Love your life. Love your family. And love on. And if you can do so, this life will become more beautiful. Please join us again on Tuesday evening, kindly. Our dear Pandit Deepak Ji will be on live at 7.30 p.m. Eastern as he will join in Hanuman Chalisa. So that's Tuesday evening coming the 28th of July, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Log on to Pandit Deepak's Facebook page and it will also be on our Shanti Bhavan page. Log on and let's all celebrate life with our dear Pandit Deepak Ji. Once again, on behalf of myself, Kevin Beer, Mr. Kiran Jadavans, and Mr. Kevin Prasad, here is where we say farewell, fair milenge, until we meet again. May the beautiful blessings and inspiration of Ram and Tulsi always be with each and every one of us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.
On such a beautiful morning, we conclude with our concluding partner as we ask the beautiful Lord again and again, O Prabhu, may this world always be a place where there is peace. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhuya Sarvesham Tu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashchit Mahabhavit Nandantu Sarva Bhutani Niratan Kani Santu Cha Priti Rastu Parasparam Siddhi Rastu Cha Karmanam Swasti Astu Rajno Nityapa Sham Prajabhya Astati Vastu Swasti Astu Dipati Nityam Shanti Rastu Cha Tushpadi Shanti Rastu Nau Devasya Bhura Bhava Swa Shivam Tatha Sarvata Shanti Rastu Nau Saumya Bhavantu Bhutani Kam Devo Jagata Shrashta Pata Deva Tvami Vahe Praja Palya Devesha Shanti Kuru Jagat Pate Yomi Adhyasni Hiti Tasya Shiva Mastu Sada Bhuvi Yahishma Grishti Loki Asmin Sopi Bhadrani Pashantu Haryo Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Haryo Let there be good to all, let all be free from sickness, let all see that which is good and let none suffer, let all be happy and careless, let there be sympathy for each other and success for all works and endeavors. Let there be prosperity to the king who protects the people every day and also to the people. Let the bipeds and the quadrupeds be prosperous. Let there be peace in the heavens and in the three worlds. Let us and all other beings have peace everywhere. Creator and sustainer as thou art of the world, thou encourage godliness and establish peace amongst the people. Who is my friend today? Let him be in peace. And who is not my friend? Let him also be in peace. Om peace, peace, peace. Tvameva mata chapita tvameva Tvameva bandhu chasaka Thank you.